In the bustling consumer landscape of China, Popmart toys have captivated millions. These collectible figurines, sold in blind boxes, represent a cultural phenomenon driving consumer spending. Popmart has become a household name in China, expanding globally. Their success taps into desires for novelty, surprise and social currency. Popmart creates a sense of community and shared passion among collectors. At the heart of Popmart's success lies the ingenious concept of blind boxes. These sealed packages contain a random figurine, keeping the contents hidden until purchase. The element of surprise is irresistible, drawing consumers to the thrill of the unknown. The blind box model taps into the human desire for collecting and completing a set. Rare figures often fetch high prices on the secondary market, amplifying excitement. This scarcity tactic encourages repeat purchases as collectors strive for elusive figures. The social aspect of blind box collecting is significant. Popmart's phenomenal success has had a significant impact on China's consumer market. The company's impressive sales figures are a testament to the growing purchasing power of Chinese millennials and Gen Z, who have emerged as key drivers of consumption in the world's second largest economy. The rise of Pop Mart also reflects a broader trend in China towards experiential consumption. Consumers are increasingly seeking out products and experiences that offer a sense of novelty excitement and social connection. Popmart's blind boxes perfectly cater to this desire, providing not just a tangible product, but also an engaging and shareable experience. Furthermore, Popmart's success has created a ripple effect in related industries. The demand for blind box toys has led to the emergence of numerous domestic competitors, further boosting the growth of the collectible toy market in China. This surge in popularity has also attracted the attention of international brands eager to tap into this lucrative market. Popmart's meteoric rise is best illustrated by its impressive sales figures. In 2020, the company reported a staggering 49.3% year-on-year increase in revenue, surpassing 2.5 billion yuan, which is around $384 million. This remarkable growth continued in 2021, with revenue jumping to over 4.49 billion yuan, or $701 million. The company's market capitalization has soared in tandem with its sales, reaching a peak of over $15 billion in early 2021. This phenomenal success has made Popmart a darling of the investment world, attracting significant interest from both domestic and international investors. Popmart's dominance in the Chinese market is undeniable. The company boasts an extensive retail network with over 200 stores across the country and a strong presence in major shopping malls and online platforms. Its strategic partnerships with popular brands and intellectual property holders have further cemented its position as a leader in the collectible toy industry. Section 5. Molly and Friends. Iconic characters and cultural significance. Popmart's success is not solely attributed to its innovative business model. It also hinges on the creation of endearing and relatable characters that resonate with Chinese consumers. Among the company's most popular creations is Molly, a pouty-faced girl with large, expressive eyes. Created by Hong Kong designer Kenny Wong, Molly has become a cultural icon in China appearing on everything from clothing and accessories to mobile phone cases and cosmetics. Her popularity stems from her versatility and the wide range of emotions she evokes, allowing collectors to project their own personalities and experiences onto the character. Beyond Molly, 
Pop Mart boasts a diverse cast of characters, each with its own unique backstory and appeal. From the whimsical and adorable to the edgy and collectible, these characters cater to a wide range of tastes and preferences, ensuring there's a Pop Mart toy for everyone. Section 6 Global Appeal Pop Mart's International Expansion While Pop Mart's primary market remains China, the company has set its sights on global domination. In recent years, Pop Mart has aggressively expanded its overseas presence, opening flagship stores in major cities across Asia, North America, and Europe. The company's international expansion is fueled by the growing global popularity of collectible toys and the increasing demand for unique and high-quality products. Pop Mart's blind box model has proven to be universally appealing, transcending cultural boundaries and capturing the imaginations of consumers worldwide. To further enhance its global reach, Pop Mart has partnered with international artists and designers collaborating on limited edition collections that appeal to a wider audience. These collaborations not only introduce fresh perspectives to the brand, but also help to solidify Pop Mart's position as a trendsetter in the global toy industry. Section 7. Challenges and Future Strategies. Maintaining the Momentum. Despite its phenomenal success, Pop Mart faces several challenges as it seeks to maintain its momentum in an increasingly competitive market. One of the biggest challenges is the threat of counterfeiting, which is rampant in China. The high demand for Pop Mart toys has led to a surge in fake products, potentially damaging the company's reputation and eroding consumer trust. To combat this, Pop Mart has implemented a number of measures, including stricter quality control, enhanced packaging security features, and collaborations with law enforcement agencies to crack down on counterfeiters. The company is also investing heavily in technology, utilizing blockchain and other advanced technologies to track its products and ensure authenticity. Another challenge for Pop Mart is the need to constantly innovate and release new and exciting products to maintain consumer interest. The company's success hinges on its ability to stay ahead of the curve, anticipating trends and creating characters and designs that resonate with its target audience. Section 8. Shaping Consumer Behaviour Pop Mart's Enduring Legacy Pop Mart's impact on Chinese consumer behavior extends far beyond the realm of collectible toys. The company has played a pivotal role in shaping the spending habits and preferences of Chinese millennials and Gen Z, demonstrating the power of experiential consumption and the allure of scarcity marketing. Pop Mart's success has also highlighted the growing importance of social currency in China. Owning the latest or rarest Pop Mart toys has become a status symbol among young consumers, a way to express their individuality and connect with like-minded individuals. This trend is likely to continue as China's younger generations increasingly prioritize experiences and social connections over material possessions. Furthermore, Pop Mart's innovative business model has inspired a wave of imitators across various industries. From cosmetics and snacks to coffee and even cars, brands are incorporating blind box elements into their marketing campaigns to capitalize on the element of surprise and encourage impulse purchases. Section 9. Conclusion. The future of Pop Mart and the collectible toy market. Pop Mart's journey from a niche hobby store to a multi-billion dollar empire is a testament to the company's ability to tap into the evolving desires of Chinese consumers. By combining innovative marketing, compelling characters, and a shrewd understanding of social trends, Pop Mart 
has created a cultural phenomenon that shows no signs of slowing down. As the company expands its global reach and continues to innovate, it will be fascinating to witness how Pop Mart further shapes the future of the collectible toy market and its enduring impact on consumer behavior worldwide.